if there's one game that has eluded my gaming library, it's the bomb service developed Metroidvania Minoria. Now with the game's console release, I can look forward to diving into its magical world, dying more than a few times, and seeing what this adventure has to offer. Minoria puts players in the middle of a war between the Sacred Office and Witches. Players are introduced to sisters Semelia and Fran as they do their best to put a stop to the witches and any who stand against the church. As the narrative progresses, you learn more about the witches as well as the religious group that they fight for. The story segments are kept short to keep the pacing of the adventure up, but there were more than a few holes that I had to fill in for myself. For the most part, this just had to do with the high fantasy dialogue the developers chose to tell the story through, which causes some moments of it to come across a little heavy. Regardless, Elements of the adventure reach some really impressive moments of narrative storytelling that keeps you engaged to the very end, if only to see where these two characters end up. During gameplay, players will take in some Metroidvania-style environmental exploration paired with some light platforming. The Metroidvania layout is decent here for this easily digestible experience, but I wouldn't expect anything too intricate. The structure of it is all kept exceptionally easy to navigate and almost linear as it leads you to where you need to go and doesn't allow you to go off track too much. There are secret areas full of items that will help your quest, but there's no real sense of urgency where you feel like you have to uncover each portion of the map. This is only because some of the items found just aren't that useful. On the other hand, the secret rooms do have some creative platforming sections to navigate through. While the jumping systems in the game can be a bit floaty for precision platforming, these small detours offer a nice break from the action encountered in the rest of the game. Samelia has a host of attacks at her disposal, but they come with a limited number of uses making you strategically plan on when and where to use them. Safe points do recover health and MP, but between those areas, battles are a test of skill and patience. The battle system is relatively relatively fast, as players will mostly rely on normal attacks against grunt enemies. However, if that enemy doesn't die in the first few strikes, then you'll probably need to dodge or parry to not take damage. Dodge works exceptionally well, but parrying is a bit tougher because you have to stand still in order to use it. If you're moving, you'll just dodge out of the way. Enemies in the game vary from area to area, but no matter where you go, expect a challenge. It was alarming the first time the smallest enemies killed me within a couple of hits, and it was frustrating the tenth time it happened. However, once I became used to the mechanics of evading and attacks, this game's responsive controls made the entire experience rather awesome. Sadly, the console release is more or less the same as the PC version, which means you won't be seeing anything new if you've played it on PC. I wish there were some extra costumes available or something that could possibly sweeten the pot, but for the most part, it's just a straight port, with the additional balanced and enhancements that the PC version received since it launched. Graphically, Minoria is a gorgeous game. If Samilia's risky outfit doesn't get your heart racing, then the environments and boss designs surely will. The developer also paired this fast action with calming sounds as it ramps up in the more critical moments, creating an immersive gaming experience. <laughs> Minoria brings an excellent action game to consoles. It plays it safe with its Metroidvania design, but it excels when it comes to immersive world building and environmental layout. If that wasn't enough, the always evolving battle system will keep you engaged from beginning to end. Noisy Pixel is giving Minoria on consoles an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review on NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.